So the other thing um, I know you've talked about on the Locked on Browns podcast, what have you seen from Jeremiah Owusu-Koromoa in Jim Schwartz's system so far? This is going to go for every linebacker to this point, whether it was the first Hall, the Hall of Fame game against the Jets or we are seeing linebackers in space. We didn't <laughs> see this last year, Dave. We saw guys getting body slams seven yards down the field and no name running backs jumping over them to continue for yards. JOK, and it's always been weird for JOK because ideally he's probably built more like a strong safety, a box safety, than he truly is a linebacker. So there have been times where JOK, okay, if I'm playing linebacker, I probably should bulk up. No, the plan is for you to always be reactionary and quick. We don't want you to get blocked. Therefore, you don't need to put on any extra bulk. Because And now with Jim Schwartz here, I am going to keep them off of you. Uh, against the uh, Washington Commanders, JOK, three solo snap uh, tackles. Uh, Tony Fields, three solo tackles. Jacob Phillips, sadly, before he got injured, three solo tackles. Uh, the young kid, Charlie Thomas, the undrafted kid out of Georgia Tech, three solo tackles. If JOK had played the entire game Friday night, probably would have had 13, 14 tackles. He's quick, he's decisive, and most, and and, and, I want to yell it from the rooftops, he's being kept clean, which is what you're supposed to do. Roquan Smith, yes, he's a fantastic player, but any linebacker is supposed to essentially look like that when you can keep interior offensive linemen off of them. Yeah, the other thing that you saw is that defensive line was starting to play in the backfield of the, of the commanders, and that's, that's the goal right there.